Hi everyone. Um, we would like, we're coming to you today from the circus room and we're kind of sad today because yesterday we learned of the death of one of our library favorite authors and illustrators, Mr. Eric Carl. And this is a picture of him um, standing in front of his famous, very hungry caterpillar. Hi. We have a little bit of a display here with many of his books and we also learned today from the West End Library that Lois Ellard, who, this is her photo, also passed um, away too. So there are two very iconic children's authors and illustrators, and these are some of her books. You might be most familiar with Growing Vegetable Soup or Planting a Rainbow or eating the alphabet. Hmm? Huh? Okay, we just had a little bit of power outage there. Hey. <laughs> um, we also would like to talk about both of the authors had a collaboration with this gentleman, Bill Martin Jr. And Bill Martin Jr. and Eric Carl worked together on Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? Which is one of the first books that young children start reading on their own. And um, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom was what Lois Eller did the illustrations on with Bill Martin Jr. He passed away in 2004. So we're going to share some of their stories with you. We'll start with Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Gonna move our caterpillar friend down here. There to, there to. It's one of Lois's favorites. I can't read it as well as Ray Charles does on the CD, but we'll try. A told B and B told C. I'll meet you at the top of the coconut tree. We he said D to E F G. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka chicka. Boom, boom. Will there be enough room? Here comes H up the coconut tree and I and J and tag along K all on their way up the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka. Boom, boom. Will there be enough room? Look who's coming. L-M-N-O-P. And Q-R-S and T-U-V. Still more. W, X, Y, Z. The whole alphabet up the, oh no. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Skit, scat, scuttle, dot, flip, flop, flee. Everybody's running to the coconut tree. Mamas and papas and uncles and aunts hot hug their little dears then dust their pants. Help us up. Cry to ABC. Next from the pile up, skin knee D and stub toe E and patched up F. Then comes G. Oh, <sighs> out of breath. H is tangled up with I. J and K are about to cry. I is knotted like a tie. M is looped. N is stooped. O is twisted, alley-oop. Skit, scat, scuttle, dot, flip, flop, flee. Look who's coming. It's Black Eyed P. Q, R, S, and loose tooth T. Then U, V, W, wiggle, jiggle, free. Last to come, X, Y, Z. And the sun goes down on the coconut tree. But chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Look, there's a full moon. A is out of bed, and this is what he said. Dare double dare you, can't catch me. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka chicka boom boom. There's the whole alphabet. So that was one of Lois Ellard's books that she collabor collaborated on with Bill Martin Jr. The next, we'll show you a few pictures of Eric Carl's art. This is 
him at work in his studio. And you can see this big spread of how he made the pages go from big to little so we can enjoy them in a book. And then here's one of her favorites, the butterfly as a pop-up. So, I think we'll read. What do you think, Miss Caitlin? Hmm. What about the very hungry caterpillar? I think we've got it good. I, I think, think so. I think good. our little friend would like that very much. I think so. So, here's the very hungry caterpillar. Papa. Here's our little buddy here. Put him on my knee. He's been well loved. He's had many trips out of the library to people's homes. And this was written for my sister, Krista. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through one, two, Papa. three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through one, two, three, four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Oh, here comes Saturday. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Oh. He didn't feel well. The next day was Sunday again, and the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, all that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. Whoops. He built a house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. And he pushed his way, oh, then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and you all know the end. He was a beautiful butterfly. Wow. So I hope you enjoyed this tribute to three great American authors and illustrators. You can come to the library and borrow all three of their books, and we'll see you at the library.